to who I am but I thought I'd make a video a really quick video just talking about how to attract a tourist male um this video is literally just um I was chatting to someone like 10 minutes ago and I was like oh is he tourist she's like yeah and I was telling her how to woo him so I thought I'd make a video just talking a little bit about how to attract you know your tourist love interest okay so Tourist men, they are the gentlemen of the zodiac, if you ask me, for my opinion, that is what I feel. They like their women to be women, because they are very masculine, you know, people, they're, they're the bull. They're the big, you know, boasty kind of guys with the shoulders and the, the body, you know, that is them, okay? But when you're meeting a tourist, you need to be the woman who is very classy, the girl in the club who is bubbling you know not like going ham dancing and shit they like to see the girl who is looking you know very classy and quiet but very um confident within herself they like confident women like i think everyone likes a confident woman anyway apart from scorpio who likes the silent or the the the, the quiet girl in the corner because they like to prey on people anyway back to taurus yeah so anyway when it comes to attracting a taurus man like they say you know the key to a man's heart is through his stomach or whatever that when it comes to tourists that shit is real shit you need to be able to be a really good cook a woman who can cook next to everything but will try next to everything tourists like to be a little bit like bossy so they won't just eat one type of food <coughs> so they will literally eat italian spanish you know um, South African, whatever cuisine, yeah, a tourist man will have tried it or he will want you to be able to try it. So you need to have, um, you know, a chef hat on and be able to cook up all types of meals, honey, because that is what they like. Now, obviously, if you're cooking him a meal, most likely he will have to come to your house. So what's your house got to look like? Your house needs to be immaculate, babe. There needs to be, it's got to be tidy, it's got to be clean, it's got to have a nice scent to it, nice candles, you know, a real feminine woman's touch, you know, completely clean carpet. Even the details on inside the fridge needs to be, like, they will clock shit like that. Your house needs to be completely tidy in order for this tourist man to come in and feel really at home and comfortable because he's a homebody. He likes to be in the house and be at home and be lazy sometimes. And he wants to know that if he can come here, his house, your house is going to be tidy and homely for him to feel comfortable in. Also, communication. Tourist people are not the best at communicators. They're very slow. Um, how they take in information and they're quite lazy people as well so they don't really like talking that much but you know you cannot be a woman who chats too 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 much you've got to be a woman who chats enough but you want to be show interest in this um tourist man so you have to ask him lots of questions about himself talk to him about how much you love being around your family your um how close you are with your with your parents and your siblings a tourist man would really love that because they are very um loyal to their family and friends you know tourist men are all about loyalty they will kill for their for their siblings for their family mum dad whoever they are into that shit okay um what else is there also, as women, you need to look so on point, ladies. Literally, like, you need to make sure that your hair is all done, your nails are on point, the clothes that you wear are, you know, really on point. Might even wear, like, a little designer bag or whatever, you know, because he will, he will clock these things about you. He will clock your toenails, do you know what I'm saying? So you need to make sure that you're so on point when dating these kind of men because they like immaculate shit they're in they also seek comfort materialistic stuff like i said in bear of my other videos they're into that shit and if you show him that you're into material material shit as well you know you guys will have something in common because you know he likes to buy nice things you know likewise if you do it will be a match made in heaven right but also he likes to see that a woman you know can hold her own if she had to so if you're someone if you've done this right if you said to him oh you know what babe i've got to do so much overtime this weekend because i really want to buy these expensive shoes how much are the shoes are oh, 1200 pounds but i really have to do the overtime to get them if you do the whole damsel in distress subconsciously not subconsciously consciously right if you do the damsel in distress he will seek that as an as an opportunity to literally be like okay well she works hard i like that about her but i want to buy her the shoes and as a tourist man tourist ma a tourist man 
would do that. A Taurus man would reward you for your hard work, you know, and that is what I appreciate about them. I don't date them, but that's what I appreciate about a Taurus man. So if you are trying to date a Taurus man, those are the few simple tips you need in order to get him to like you. So thank you for 